Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Semantics. Today we have a very tricky algebra question. We need to raise the square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power. There are a lot of approaches, you can easily pause the video and you can easily write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in just few minutes, so it will be really interesting to check it. So first of all, a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is like I can easily raise this in 10 seconds on my telephone, but what about, for example, when you're sitting on your exam and you need to raise this on your exam and it's it's really hard. So right now let's try to look at it, how can and solve it correctly and step by step. First of all, let's call this square root of 3 minus 1. It will be our x, okay? So let's do this. So let square root of 3 minus 1, this is our, our x. And basically, when this is our x, we need to find x to the 8th power, okay? Because square root of 3 minus 1 is x, we need to find x to the 8th power. Okay, x to the 8th power, we need to find. Right now, let's look closely right here. What do we have? We have square root of 3 minus 1 equal to x. We prefer our variables on the left side. So right now, let's change position. So let's write our x at first on the left side equal to square root of 3 minus minus 1. Really great. Right now, let's bring this minus 1 from our right side to left side. Let's do this. So we have right here x plus 1 equal to square root of 3. Right now, let's square both sides. Then we will easily cancel this square root sign right here. Let's let's square both sides. First of all, we will have x plus 1 on the left side. We squared it equal to square root of 3. We squared our, our right side. On the right side, we have only 3 because square root to the second power equal to 3. On the left side, we have basic school identity. Let's raise this. We have right here x square plus 2x and plus 1 equal to, right here, as I told before, we have we have 3. Right now, let's bring this 3 from our right side to left side. Let's do this right now. So right here, we have x squared plus 2x, and we have right here minus 2. Minus 2 equal to equal to 0. And right now, we don't need to solve this. We don't need to solve it. Okay, okay, we have right here quadratic equation, but we don't need to solve it. Right now, let's look closely what I do. I want to bring 2x minus 2 to the right side. So as a result, we have x squared equal to 2 minus 2x. And this is extremely important expression right now because we can easily express the second power according to the first power. So we have square right here, we have the first power, we can easily like, like reduce a power. And in the same way, as I told before, we need to find x to the 8th power. Right now we know everything about x square, okay? We know everything about x square. So right now, for example, let's raise to the second power both sides, and then we will have x to the fourth power, yeah? And then once more, we will raise to the fourth, uh, to the second power. We'll have x to the eighth power. So we're getting closer and closer to our x to the eighth power. So let's do this right now. So first of all, let's raise both sides to the th second power. So we have x square. We raise to the second power equal to 2 minus 2 minus 2x to the second power. Don't forget about this. Right now, this is basic school, uh, basic power rule. We will have x to the fourth power on the left side equal to, this is basic school identity. Okay, we have right here 4 minus 8x and plus 4x squared, plus 4x squared. But keep in mind that x squared equal to 2 minus 2x. So let's write it, we have right here, but x squared equal to 2 minus 2 minus 2x, okay? So right now, instead of this x square, let's plug in this 2 minus 2x, which help us to reduce a power, because it's really hard to work with the second power. When we raise this, we have x to the fourth power, which is like a complicated thing. But when we have the first power, it's much easier to work with this first power. So let's do this. x to the fourth power equal to 4 minus 8x plus 4 and times x square. x square equal to 2 minus 2x. Let's simplify this a little bit. This is basic school things right here, basic school a school expression, so x to the fourth power equal to 4 minus 8x, and we have right here plus 8 and minus 8x. When we add our constant and when, and when we add our variables, as a result, x to the fourth power, x to the fourth power equal to 12 minus 16x. Okay, x to the fourth power equal to 12 minus 16x. And this is extremely important expression because we know everything about x to the fourth power. But keep in mind that we need to find x to the eighth power. How can we combine, for example, maybe this expression, maybe this expression, how can we find our x to the eighth power? I hope you understand it. I hope you know about this step. We need to raise both sides once more to the second power. And then we will have x to, to the fourth power raised to the second power. We will have x to the eighth power. So right here, we just keep in mind that x to the eighth power we need to find. Let's 
do this. This is our third step. We have x to the fourth power, we raise to the second power, which gives us our, our uh, expression that we need to find. But in the same way, we need to raise our right side. So we have 12 minus 16x. We're going to raise these to the, to the second power. Let's do this right now. Let's do this tricky move right now. We have x to the eighth power on the left side equal to right here. We're going to raise this. So we have 12 square. Let's raise this step by step. Yeah, 12 square minus 2 times 12 times 16x and plus 16x to the second power. We need to square it. As a result, we have x to the eighth power equal to we have 144. Minus right here we have 24 times 16, we have 384x and plus 256x square. But let's keep in mind that x square, as I told before, equal to 2 minus 2x. Okay, x square equal to 2 minus 2x. Right here we did the same step and right now we're going to do this step. Instead of this x square, we're going to apply this 2 minus 2x. Let's do this right now. So we have x to the 8th power equal to 144 minus 384x plus 256 times 2 minus 2x. Okay, so we have x to the 8th power equal to 144, 144 minus 384x. Right here we have plus 512, plus 512, and minus 512, but with x. Let's do this, let's group it, let's group our constant and our variables. As a result, we have x to the 8th power equal to 656 minus 896x. And this is our, it looks like our answer, but don't forget about the beginning, because in the beginning we write a substitution, that our x, right here we have x equal to square root of 3 minus 1, and the last step is to plug in, so we need to write it something like that, but x equal to square root of 3 minus 1, so the last step is to plug in instead of x, let's plug in this expression. So instead of x, so we will have like square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power, so we're gonna plug in it mm, in this expression on the left side. So square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power, yeah, equal to 656 minus 896. And in, instead of this x, let's write this one, square root of 3 minus 1. As a result, we have 656 minus 896 square root of 3, and we have plus 896. 896, and our final answer, let's write it. We have square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power equal to, when we add it, we have 656, 896, we have 1552 minus 896 square root of square root of 3. And this is our answer. But then I was wondering, what about what about right here uh, about the uh, exact value of this square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power? What about a proof? Let's check it. And after finding this solution, I was plugging in this expression on the left side in my calculator. And when I plug in this square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power, when I plug in, we will get like 0 0.082476 and 441 right here. This is our answer according to, to my calculator. But then I was wondering, how is it possible right here this expression is less than one basically yeah we have right here less than one half even yeah and if we look closely on the right side we have thousand we have like uh, 1552 800 996 so how is it possible and then i was plugging in this expression so i am multiplying 896 times square root of 3 and when i plug in this expression in the calculator we will get like 1551 and we have 9175 Two, three, and five, eight, and a lot of this, a lot of these digits right here. But doesn't matter. The main thing is right here when we subtract this. When we subtract, uh, we have one thousand five hundred fifty-two. When we subtract this expression from this one, as a result, we can easily see that we have like absolutely the same thing on both sides. This is like a little proof for you that this uh, this answer is absolutely absolutely correct, which is which is really great, I guess. So let's write our final answer to these questions. Yeah. So as a result, we will have that right here. We have equal sign according to this 1552 minus this expression. So we have equal sign, which is absolutely, absolutely great. So let's write our final answer. Let's split our, our paper in two parts. So right here we have our answer, our answer. And I'm going to show you two interpretations. So square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power equal to 
we have this answer that we found before. So 1552 minus 896 square root of 3. The second interpretation, we can easily factor from here 16. So as a result, we have right here like uh, second interpretation, square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power equal to, when we subtract from here 16, we have 16, and inside parentheses we have 97, 97 minus 56 square root of 3. So this is also a great interpretation for us. And the third, this is not like interpretation, but maybe someone interested in exact value to this expression, so square root of, one, square root of 3 minus 1 to the 8th power equal to 0 0.0824 and a lot of digits. Yeah, maybe someone want to prove it, maybe someone don't trust me. We have three, three interpretations, each of these, uh, two, uh, both of these interpretations are correct. This is not like interpretation, this is our exact uh, answer. According to our calculator, this is our exact answer. And this is, these are our two interpretations. And of course, this is a solution. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your, your notes, your thoughts down into the comment section. There is like another method when we, instead of this square root of 3, when we write a uh, square root of 3 equal to x, so we need to raise x minus 1 to the 8th power. So if you want to solve it like that, you can easily do this. But for me, it's like more interesting uh, approach because this is like a great uh, for practice our algebra skills, for practice our um, multiplying parentheses by parentheses, uh, like basic algebra tricks right here okay so we are talking about uh, this solution so thank you everyone for your time thank you everyone for your support write your notes write your solution down into the comment section what do you think about the solution let's exchange information because there are a lot of approaches there are, there are a lot of solutions and it's also really great to exchange information thank you everyone for your time thank you everyone for your support see you in the next videos and have a great day